Hello, I'm Corey Wynn. I'm here to answer your three questions. Um, so what is wrong with the American high school system now? It depends really on your economic background. Um, if you are the truly disenfranchised, it's really retention. And that is from my experience, um, giving the students a way to even stay in school is an issue. But if you're more fortunate, uh, then it's really engagement. How do you engage with the students? Right? How do you go to their level, their language, and engage them? And I believe there is no really easy answer. Whoever tells you it's easy, they're mistaken. It's not easy. It takes a lot of tenacity. And I believe in a project-based approach because that's how I learn and that's how most of us learn uh, who are in professional industry. We have a project that we develop, that we are invested in, and we want to see it to fruition, okay? Now that's all fine and dandy, but then you have to integrate that with specific standardized tests that they have to pass. So they have to have a broad base understanding. So project-based obviously is very focused on the project, and so sometimes you might miss the big picture. So a successful educator in this paradigm, in, in this platform, has to integrate the students in a broader base and explain to them this is all the tools that you will use for your project and for other projects. And just like us, we learn tools that might be useful for this one and might not, but it become useful later. And so in that sense, we tailor our education, we tailor our system to engage with the students, ask them what they're interested in, and use your wealth, your plethora of knowledge to do so. So for this model to work, you really need an educator who has literally a very huge portfolio and interest. And as for myself, uh, I'm a computational mathematician. You know, I'm uh, well published in the field, but I'm also an artist. I'm also uh, a person who's engaged in the community with civics and, and civil rights. So I come from a different perspective. I'm relevant to current history. I'm relevant to issues that they care about and also relevant into the current technology that they're using, actually far more advanced than what they're using. But it's okay, because I can give them the broader picture, the bigger picture, while maintaining a standard that they will need to go to college to become successful individuals in education, okay? And so that has been my background, is how to do a project-based interdisciplinary work, okay, that requires many facets of learning. Uh, my experience with uh, teenagers is actually very interesting. Uh, I have a nonprofit that is under the umbrella of the Coalition of uh, Engaged Education. So what the coalition does is it mentors at-risk students. So these are students exiting, mostly boys, exiting the juvenile hall system. And what we do is we reintegrate them into the education system. So these are the really disenfranchised. So I understand that retention for them is really hard. But it's important and fundamental to me as a person because I'm a boat refugee from Vietnam. I grew up in the projects in Kansas City, Missouri. The station in life that I came into the United States was very low. And I had to work my way up through the gangs, through the violence, went to Compton, went to Gardena, go to high school, and got my PhD. Without organizations like this that helps and mentors students, I would have never made it. I would be like my brother you know, on drugs and et cetera. So uh, I'm very invested in our youth. I invested in technology and education, and I believe my advanced background and also my ability to uh, talk to them at a level that they can appreciate and understand and infuse enthusiasm in them. Okay, I'm very, very passionate of whatever I do, I have to be because I, I work in social justice art. You have to be passionate or else there's no money in there. So uh, that is my drive, my motivation, and I really want a new system, to test a new system out. And I'm, I really praise you guys for being avant-garde. How do we fix this system? Okay, there's a disparity, okay? We have the best college education, but we have one of the worst high school education, and it's, I really believe it is engagement. And, and I hope to be able to um, address that with you guys. Thank you.